Yes, sir. My name is Akashi, guys, and in this video here, I'm going to be giving you a guide for the story mode. A lot of people obviously want to clear the story mode because there's so many Chrono Crystals to offer in the story mode. In any Chrono Crystal guide that I do, I always advise that you go ahead and clear the story mode, but not just clear it, make sure you get every single challenge uh, literally cleared because in every single challenge, you can get literally Chrono Crystals. I'm going to pick a random one here. You can see free, 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 free all the way through. And then if you look at how many stars I have there, I accidentally pressed the home button. If you look at how many stars I have there in total, from part one, 600, 728, 644, 672, 189. You know, if you go through every single one, there's how many challenges? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight challenges. So seven of those are giving you Chrono Crystals times three. If I do a quick calculator, quick calculator, eight times three, that's 24 Chrono Crystals for every single challenge that you do. So if you imagine all of these Chrono Crystals, you're missing out on loads. Obviously, you still get your first time clear, but obviously people want to know how they can clear this fast and efficient, just so you can actually not waste your time and i'm going to show you how i go by it by it and this will help you out in the future so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video if you haven't already make sure to press the subscribe button man we are on this grind to 40,000 subscribers all my social media links are going to be on the bottom of the screen this is the youtube channel we've got twitter twitch reddit instagram and a discord link all in the description below i'm not going to waste any more of your time i'm just going to tell you my thought process on how i actually go through the story because it shouldn't take you more than 20 minutes every time an update comes but if you're behind then you can glide through it easily with what i'm going to show you right now so what i'm going to do i'm going to open it up as if like i literally just started playing the story there'll be some text on the left of the screen so you can see so right now luckily there's actually a new story mode update so i can press 13 i'll just go to the new chapter just let it load be patient with me and maybe i'll fast forward it at certain times but i'm just gonna skip all the story and we don't really be watching it we just hear that there's a new character on the screen or whatnot just skip it go ahead uh continue to the next chapter now it's gonna be playable right so i'm on the newest one open it up and then what i'm gonna do right now is just gonna i'm gonna open up a team slot now i'm just gonna call this story right and i haven't even read the mission conditions so just for the video i'm gonna call it story you can call it whatever you want uh, i'm gonna change this filter to nothing uh, this is what you should do so make it easy for you press this left button so this one here as you can see press it change it to element always have it as element because the good characters in the game will just be blatant to you like you, it's not connected to the actual anime you should know who's most used by like videos and pvp videos and whatnot so just change it to element you don't need it to be power level or anything else change it to element that's cool then change the filter change it to sparking on ultra and then leave everything else as it is that will be fine now, what you want to do, uh, ideally, is actually have one unit of every color. So what I usually do is actually just make a Fusion Warrior team because that's my best team. But it can be any unit. It doesn't even matter. So just for sake, because uh, Beast Gohan's in the game, I might use him, but I'm not going to. I'll just do what I normally do. So USG first, then I'll get a green. It doesn't matter what green. I'm going to use G4. I'm going to go Super Vegito for the purple. I'm going to get the yellow. I'm going to go Ultra Super Vegito. And then for the red... I'm just going to take, uh, there's no good red fusion, so I'm actually just going to take uh, Super Gogeta just because he exists. Now, the reason why I left the first slot, you're probably wondering, you started from the second slot. Well, that's because in that first slot, the person that you want there is Shallot. Shallot because he's the main story character and you will never know when they're going to ask you to use him. Now that you've got this team prepped, you just press confirmed. Now, bear in mind, I haven't even looked at the challenges and you're probably thinking, what the hell, what's going on? The reason I didn't look at the challenge is because the challenge is going to have one or two conditions which would change what I have in my team. So I'll go to the challenges right now and you can see it asks me for two element blue. Now all I need to do is take off one of my units. So if it's asked me for element blue, that means they're probably going to be bringing an element green. So I wouldn't take off the element purple. I take off the element green because I'm not going to use it. I go back to the Sparking Ultra and I can just pick another blue and it doesn't matter who it is. Like literally doesn't matter. Don't waste your time. But I also select the auto select and so auto select only equipment, not the characters, only equipment so that you can just have a decent team. Don't focus too much, man. You'll be you'll be able to clear it either way. Press confirm. And you can see now I meet the condition and I can easily just go through. Now, I do that with every single thing. So, uh, let me even look at the color. I didn't look at the color. He was green. I, I swear I did not know he was green. Because they always try to like, do you die? When they tell you to use blues, they're going to bring what's advantage to blues because you're trying to clear the challenge. So you go for the blue. You pick your two blues, they go advantage over you. So they bought a green. But I know I'm going to bring two blues and one purple because it doesn't say use only two characters. 
unfortunately if this won't always be the case but for most of them in the higher up challenges they will be and this is the advice i want to give you look i'll go to book three chapter chapter what uh chapter eight it says red so they're going to bring a blue it's a blue here if you want me to just show you that it actually works in every case i will literally block the phone so i can't see who it is look i'll pick i'll pick book three chapter one down here i'll pick the challenges and it says two red so they should ask me they should bring at least one blue they should bring at least one blue and you can see it follows through every single time so whatever the challenges are all you need to do is literally fix your team accordingly what did it say just i just forgot just so i can show you it says two element red so they're gonna bring a blue so i wouldn't take off my green so at the moment the green is gone so i'll just put him back on to give me an easy time and then um i will take off anybody else so i'll just take off one of these and i'll just put mui on for sake don't forget to auto select but i meet the meet the requirement and i also got a counter um for the for the blue that's going to be bothering my red so the battle's not going to take long now outside of that the rest is really just a skill issue you can't do anything to really just speed it up or slow it down you just have to actually read what it says so make sure to do two strikes do one vanishing step clear without the rise and rush if you have one color advantage you're fine if there's anything other conditions like some of the missions they were really tedious if i remember earlier on like they would have two color requirements in one battle hopefully they're not like that anymore but pretty much outside of that, it's just a skill issue. The color thing is how you can clear it quickly. Always have like every one of each color prepped. And then depending on what they're asking you, you counter it with that IQ. That's all you pretty much need to do. And every single time you'll be fine and you'll be able to just clear every single story with swiftness. That's the fastest way you can go through it. There's no other auto ways unless you want to like use mods. And I don't advise using mods because if your account gets clipped, maybe it will. I don't know. I'm not a modder, so I wouldn't know. I don't partake in any of that. I have an iPhone anyways. I'm not an Android user. Um, I wouldn't advise for it, basically. Just go through it like that and it'll be really, really simple. Um, there's no point of even showing you how I would do it. But it's pretty much just a memory thing. Look, two strikes, one vanish. You would vanish naturally. Always vanish against bots first and no rise and rush. Uh, what was it again? He's using green, so two blues. Let me just sort that out. So two blues. Uh, they're going to bring a green, so I'd keep my purple. I need to pick Beast Gohan just because he's the best. I'll auto-select it. Always keep Shallot on deck because you'll never know when they ask you to use him. Don't play the demo. You don't want to waste time. Don't play the demo. Open it up nice and easily. Make sure to bring your two blues. If you want to bring Shallot, you can, but I think it's just easier to bring a purple just to counter what they're bringing to you. I just need to do two strikes and one vanish. It's easy. It's very easy. I'll fast forward this part so you can just see it happen real quick. Um, I should pretty much like do Gohan dirty so fast. It shouldn't take long. There we go, two strike cards. I did my two strikes, I chained them, I vanished up, I got the first attack, that's why you always want to vanish up. I didn't use a rise and rush, so everything's good to go and I did it in 100 counts. Alright, now, um, let me uh, show you that I actually got all the challenges. I, hopefully I didn't miss one, I look real goofy. <laughs> you get the event one at the top, so that's the 10cc that you get from the missions tab. You get your first time clear, and then you hear it go, nice challenge complete and you can just do that every single time go to the next chapter real smooth the fastest way you can go through it hopefully they don't give me the demo i'm not trying to see none of this just, oh it was it was just a literal chapter so i had to see it it's going to tell me to bring two yellows then i'd keep my blue and then i keep going again pretty easy pretty smooth once you get in the rhythm of it it's real easy and you won't waste any time but yeah hopefully this video is very useful somebody was asking me in the stream to actually produce this video because um they wanted to go through and clear the story so obviously i tell people to clear the story but how you go about it and how's the fastest way because it's tedious there's a lot of it and it's really annoying to do so i'm happy to be bringing you this video something i should have probably done a long time ago but it's probably a video that i have a lot of longevity so i'm happy to be producing it hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video hopefully it was useful if you haven't already make sure to press the subscribe button and we are on this grind to 40,000 subscribers at the time making this video this video could live on for a long while and you know whatever but yeah all my social media links on the bottom of the screen. This is the YouTube channel, but I've got Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and the Discord link all in the description below. I stream every day. So if you ever catch me live, press the subscribe button and you will catch me live. I stream 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. every day. GMT, I'm British. British. Uh, <laughs> I'm from London. So every time I'm streaming is at those times. Check your time zone for what time that is. And if you catch me, just say hi, pop in. Appreciate you guys for watching, man. My name is Akashi, guys. Good luck with clearing the story, get your Chrono Crystals, and I will see you guys.
in the next one, man.